Hi, I'm Casey Henry and welcome to The Murphy Method. The song we're going to take up for today is called Red River Valley. This is a great tune to play on the banjo. It's very simple. The melody is very straightforward and it lays out very well on the banjo. So I'm going to play through our arrangement. Up to speed, it's not a very fast song. It's a very medium tempo song. And then I'll slow it down and then we'll break it apart and look at it a lick at a time. So here we go with Red River Valley. And here it is a little bit slower. Okay, now we're going to take this break apart and look at it a phrase at a time. So our first phrase is going to be this much. We're starting out here with some pickup notes. These are all on the open strings. So really the first two are the pickup notes and the third one is where the downbeat of the song comes. But it's open fourth string, open third string, open second string. And these are eighth notes. They're slow, so you can pick um, more than one in a row with your thumb. I'm fingering this thumb, thumb, index. You could play it thumb, thumb, thumb if you wanted to, or thumb, index, index, I guess. Um, but thumb, thumb, index is what works for me. That's followed by forward rolls. These are 5-2-1 rolls, and there are three of them, starting and ending on the fifth string. So you're going to play 5-2-1, 5-2-1, Like that. So let's put them together with those pickup notes. Next lick is going to be this. Again, we're starting out with eighth notes. This time we've got... So that's five notes there. We're going to play a second fret on the third string. That one you want to pick with your index finger. I'll explain why in a second. So, second fret on the third, pick with your index. Open second, that's also an index. Then second fret on the third again, that's thumb, and then open third, that's also thumb. So we've got index, index, thumb, thumb. And I guess that's only four notes, whereas before I said it was five notes, but who's counting really? And the reason that we pick that uh, initial note with your index finger is because you just used your thumb on the fifth string, and uh, that would be double thumbing. So after those four notes, we again have forward rolls, but this time we're going to roll 5-3-1. And it's just two rolls, so it's 5-3-1, 5-3-1-5. Again, start and end on that fifth string. So now we've got, oh sorry. first phrase ends. So let's back up to the top and put these two halves of the phrase together, starting with our pickup notes. Now our second phrase is going to be this. So we start out similarly to the first phrase. Well, 
It's exactly the same. Four, three, two, all open strings. Then we have this roll. So this is forward roll, but it's five, three, one, five, two, one. So we've got one of each forward roll here. Five, three, one, five, two, one. So let's attach those to the three notes that came first. Then we have this lick. So we start out here with a hammer. If you play Foggy Mountain Breakdown, this hammer will, should be familiar to you. It's the one that we use in that song. You're going to be hammering on the second string from the second fret to the third fret. So index finger on second fret of the second string. You're going to pick that with your index finger. You're going to hammer down your middle finger onto the third fret like that. And then at the same time as you're putting your middle finger down, you play an open first string. So you're picking 2-1 at the same time as you're hammering down your middle finger. There's a fifth string after the hammer. So the roll is 2-1-5. Again. Then back up to fretting the first fret of the second string with your index finger. We're going to do another 2-1-5 roll here. So now we've got, then on the open strings, we're going to play a 2-1, let's add that on, now we've got, and then our last note here is going to be a second fret on the third string, you can pick that with your thumb. So now the whole thing is. Now once again, we're going to finish out this phrase with forward rolls. We're going to keep that second fret of the third fret in, and we're going to roll 5-3-1. There's three rolls this time. Start and end on the fifth string, so it's 5-3-1, 5-3-1, 5-3-1-5. Five, five, five. Like that. Okay, so let's add that onto the lick before it, starting with that hammer. So now let's back up to the three uh, notes that started that phrase we're going to play. And I do just want to point out that right, you're starting those rolls on the fifth string, obviously. You have used your thumb to play that second fret on the third note right before you use your thumb on the fifth string. Because the second fret on the third is an eighth note, it does not count as double thumbing to move your thumb up to the fifth string and start the rolls on that fifth. Okay, we've got two phrases now, so let's back up to the top and put them together, starting with the pickup notes. Here we go. second string. That leads to this lick. So this little combination of licks should be familiar to you, especially if you've gone through the Misfits DVD. We have two separate licks here actually. The first one is, so you're going to Slide on the third string from the second fret to the third fret with your middle finger. You're going to pick that with your thumb, and then afterwards we're going to roll two, one, five. Like that. Now the second half of this combo is. So 
this is a backward roll with a pull off from three to two on the third string. So you're going to start with an open first, open second, pull off from three to two. To do this, you're going to fret the second fret on the third with your index. You're going to fret the third fret on the third with your middle. You're going to pick it with your thumb and then pull off or push off as I do that middle finger from the third fret so that you hear the second fret note. Should sound like that. So we got two notes before the pull off. And then after the pull off, we have an open first, open third. So let's add that to the slide lick that came right before it. And to finish out this little piece, we're going to put a 5-1 on the end. Those are just fill-in notes. They don't have anything to do with the melody. They're just kind of taking up space there. So we got... not forget the two notes that came before that lick, the very first ones on the phrase. Now the second half of our phrase is this. So we're actually going to start with the same slide like we just used it's going to lead to a different place than it did last time. So again, we're sliding from two to three on the third string. Pick that with your thumb and then roll two, one, five. So it's. After that, we're going to play these two notes. So it's an open first and then you're going to put down your whole C chord right here and play a second string. So your C chord, of course, is index on first fret of the second, ring on second fret of the first, and middle on second fret of the fourth. You're going to put all those fingers down at the same time, ideally, if you can. But we're just playing the second string right now. So we got open first, and then first fret on the second. And then this is followed by forward rolls. Five, two, one, five, two, one, five. Okay, so let's add that on to what we had. And that's where this phrase is going to end. Okay, so let's put the two halves of this phrase together now. We've got. So let's back up and add that onto our first two phrases, starting at the beginning now. which is going to sound like this. Now you'll notice that most of the notes in this final phrase are just single notes. It's a bunch of eighth notes in a row. It's going to sound like this. notes come while we're still in the C chord. We still have our C chord down from the previous phrase and we're going to play. So that's second fret on the fourth, which is right where your middle finger should be anyway. Then let up your C chord, use your index finger to fret the first fret on the fourth, and then play the open fourth. So those are our first three notes. 
Then we have that 5-1 for fill in again. Then we play this. So you're going to use your ring finger to fret the 4th fret on the 4th string, then the open 3rd, and then the 2nd fret on the 3rd. All those can be played with your thumb. Okay, so let's put these two little pieces together. And then the last piece is... So we've got now an open 2nd string. Pull off from 1st fret of the 2nd to the open 2nd. So you're going to use your index finger to fret that 1st fret of the 2nd string right there. Pick it, and then pull off your finger so you hear the open 2nd string. That's not a place where we pull off uh, very often. You probably have never done that before. So we've got open 2nd, then the pull off. Then 2nd fret on the 3rd, then open 3rd. Open 3rd is the last note in that um, little phrase. Okay, so let's add that on to what we had. And then we're going to end the phrase with a tag lick starting on the 5th string. If you've gone through um, Foggy Mountain Breakdown, you should know your tag lick. This time we're starting on the fifth. So your first three notes are fifth string, slide from two to three on the third string, picked with your index. That's followed by an open first string. So you're picking five, three, one. Then come back to the open third. Also pick that with your index. Second fret on the fourth. Okay, let's add those two notes on. So we got. And then our last two notes are open first, open third. Let's add those on. Sorry, let's try that again. And on to the end of this, we're going to add just one pinch. So it's a pinch of one and five. Tag lick followed by just one pinch. Okay, so let's try adding that onto the fourth phrase. This is the fourth phrase plus the tag. phrases, which is the whole break. So let's back up to the top and see if we can put this whole thing together. Starting with our pickup notes. Here we go. And there you have it, that's the Red River Valley.